Can a television station be social? Yes, it can. WHDH.com, a Boston-based uh, NBC affiliate here, just redesigned their website. And today we're going to talk about how, through this redesign, they really understand social media and how to interact with their fans and evangelists online using this website. So you can see right away, it's a really clean interface. I really like the way it's very clean and easy to navigate. There's a link to Facebook, a link to Twitter, and down, if we scroll down the page a little bit, we'll also find other links that are quick and easy to find, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, mobile phones, etc. You'll notice they also have to the left here a link to RSS feeds. RSS is short for Real Simple Syndication, and for tech-savvy folks, it's a way for them, they can plug this RSS link into their, their email, their Google Reader, their mobile phone, and they can get specific content from WHDH whenever they want it. <clears throat> Let's go back to the home page. Video is front and center. After all, they are a television station. Uh, notice that they don't muddy it up too much. There's, there's four videos and that's it. Um, we're going to scroll down a little bit. And what I really like about their other content is that it's really designed like a blog. If you look below this, this content, the actual story, there's a way to share it with your social network. For example, every tweet, share it on Facebook, and they really give you an opportunity to interact with the news they're sharing, which is, again, social. They get social media. So this is a way to comment, interact on news that they produce on a regular basis. Additionally, they also have um, an iTunes channel. Uh, their most recent channel here that they uh, update fairly regularly is a podcast from Francis Rivera. So if you don't have time to watch uh, their television clips, you can download it to uh, your, your iPod and watch it at your leisure when it's convenient for you. So let's look at some other competitors and how they differ. We're going to go to WBZTV.com. And you can see how why they, they're trying to get it. It still seems like a, a cluttered and a busier space. Their other competitor, TheBostonChannel.com, there's a lot going on in this page. I don't really feel a way I can interact with this content and with this information. This banner here is very sort of late 1990s. So in closing, let's go back to this home page here. They get it. They're social. It's clean. It's easy to interact with this site, and it's a great new redesign.